Hi, superstars. It is time for math. We are on lesson 8-7, ways to make 10. We're going to show how to make a group of 10. Let's get started. All right, let's read our first problem. Jackson puts 10 watering cans on a shelf in the garden store. Use counters to show how Jackson could place the 10 watering cans. Then use different numbers of red and yellow counters to show other ways the cans can be placed on the shelf. So we're gonna use this 10 frame here and we're going to first show how Jackson can place 10 watering cans. So I'm going to draw in my counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there are 10 counters one for each watering can. So this is showing 10 watering cans on the shelf. This is a 10 frame. So we know that there are 10 counters in this 10 frame because it's all full. So another way we can show different numbers of red and yellow counters as, as watering cans, I'm going to first use red and I'm going to place one, two, three, four, five red watering cans. And then it asks us to use yellow counters also. So now I'm going to put my yellow counters here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's showing five yellow watering cans. So we know that there are 10 watering cans in all because my 10 frame is full, but I have five red watering cans and I have five yellow watering cans. So there's many different ways that you can make up 10 using different colors of counters. Here I did five and five, and five plus five is 10. You can use different numbers of yellow and different numbers of red. Let's go on to our next problem. Okay, we're gonna watch our short video before we go on to our next problem. So let's watch. How many fireflies do you see? There are 10 fireflies. How many counters are there? Well, we know that's a 10 frame and it looks like that 10 frame is completely full. So there are 10 counters in our 10 frame. There are 10 counters. 10 counters are yellow and zero counters are red. How many fireflies do you see now? If we count them, there are 10 fireflies. There are 10 fireflies. What parts do you see? The parts are eight and two. What hole and what parts do you see now? Okay, we see that there's how many yellow? There are six yellow and there are four red. The hole is 10. The parts are six and four. Good job.
How can you show that the parts make the whole? So we can show that they make the whole by putting the parts together. Put the parts together. All right, let's try it. Okay, so it looks like we have six red counters. And how many yellow counters are we going to need to make 10? Well, let's add them to our 10 frame. There's one, two, three, four. So we needed four yellow counters in addition to the six red counters to make 10. So we filled in our 10 frame. You looked at different ways to make 10. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's look at our guided practice. We're on number one. So you're going to draw and color counters red and yellow to show one way to make 10. So you can color the fireflies red and yellow to show the way and then you can write the numbers. All right, so let's look. We have one yellow firefly and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red fireflies. So we can go to our 10 frame and put our counters. There's one yellow counter for the one yellow firefly. And then we're going to use red and fill in the remaining fireflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So over here, we're gonna write our numbers. One and nine. All right, so that's one way to make 10. One plus nine is 10. All right, let's move on to our next question. Let's look at number two. You're going to draw and color counters red and yellow to show one way to make 10. Then you can color the insects red and yellow to show each way. And then write the numbers. All right, so you can choose as many yellow and as many red insects. And then you're going to put them as counters in your 10 frames. So I'm going to show you one way. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six of my insects yellow. So I'm going to put six right here. And then I'm going to make one, two, three, four red. So I'm going to put the number four over here. Now I want to fill in my 10 frame to show how many insects I had that were yellow and how many I had that were red. And we are going to make 10. One, two, three, four, five, six were yellow, and one, two, three, 
four were red. I filled in my 10 frame and that's showing me one way to make 10. Six and four make 10. All right, let's look at our next problem here. Number three. Now we're going to show another way to make 10 by using different colors, yellow and red of our insects. So this time, I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five insects yellow. So let's write five here. You can choose any way you want as long as they're different in each problem. I want different numbers of yellow and different numbers of red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show in my 10 frame how many yellow I had. And I know that that top row is five. So there are five yellow counters. Now I will use my red. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to write five down here. And now I'm going to add my counters. One, two, three, four, five. So I filled in my 10 frame, and that is another way to make 10, five and five. Five plus five is 10. Okay, last problem. Let's get my yellow. All right, this time I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to make eight. I'll make eight of my insects yellow. Let's write eight. And let's fill in our 10 frame with eight yellow counters. We know that the top row makes five, six, seven, eight. Now I'll use my red to make two of my insects red. And I'm gonna write my number here. Fill in my 10 frame with my red counters. And I filled in my 10 frame to make 10. Eight and two make 10. So eight plus two is 10. All right, superstars, I want you to continue doing the independent practice. And until next time, have a wonderful day.